So we've been talking about solving systems with three variables, correct? We've been practicing it, practicing it for a while. We're going to keep practicing it for about the next week or so. We're going to be taking a test next week over solving systems of equations, okay? So there's one more thing we'll have to talk about after we talk about three variable systems, but then we will test over that one new thing and solving systems of equations sometime towards the end of next week, okay? So I just figured we'll take some more time to practice these today. So the paper that I just gave you has this at the top, correct? Yeah. Okay, these are the steps we use to solve systems in three variables. I've already given you some steps from our previous notes, correct? These steps explain it just a tad differently, but it's still the same process. So I figured it might be good for you guys to have these as well, just in case this helps you a little better. So step one, we'll have, we'll have three equations, correct? Because we've got three variables. So we want to choose two of our equations in which you can easily eliminate a variable. After you eliminate a variable, we'll call that new equation uh, equation A. And how many variables will that equation have? Two, because we eliminated one, correct? Okay, step two. We're going to use two new equations to eliminate the same variable. So eliminate the same variable from a combination of the equations you didn't use and one of the ones you did use. We'll call this equation after the elimination equation B. How many variables will be in that equation? Two. It'll be the same two that are in my equation A, correct? If you don't have the same two equations in equation A and equation B, you need to go back and do something again because we want them to have the same two variables. Everyone good with that? Yes. Step three, you'll put equation A and equation B together on top of each other and you'll solve that system either using elimination or substitution, whichever one you want to use. So we'll solve that system of equations in two variables, just like we did a few weeks ago, and that'll give us two of our three variables, correct? You'll solve for one of the variables, you'll plug that variable back into those two equations, or one of those two equations, and get your second variable. Step four, after we get those two variables, we can substitute those two answers from step three into one of our original equations. Does it matter which original equation I use? No, it doesn't. I can pick any one of my three. I can plug those, or those answers from step three into an original equation to find my remaining variable. We'll then write our solution as an order triple, x comma y comma z. So like I said, this kind of explains it just a tad differently than I've explained it before. This might help you, it might not. Hopefully it does. Or if the other method helps you better, use that method. It's still the same method, it just explains it differently. Any questions there? So the worksheet I gave you, I'm going to do two of them with you, and then you're going to do the other three on your own. Okay? So let's do number one together. 2x minus 6y plus 9z equals negative 8. 5x plus y plus 2z equals 10. 3x plus y minus 8z equals negative 28. So, what does step one tell me to do on the sheet of paper I just gave you? Choose two equations, Choose two equations to easily eliminate one of my variables, correct? Does it matter which variable I eliminate? Mm -hmm. No. I just got to keep it consistent throughout. So, when we're trying to eliminate one of our variables right off the bat, what do we usually typically look for? Is that what were you saying? What's the same? Not just the variable, but the... What's in front of the variable? The number. The coefficient in front of the variable, right? Yeah, I think that's what you're saying. I think you're on the right track. Yeah, yeah. So we want to look for equations that might have the same number in front of them already. That way I'm, <clears throat> I'm not having to do as much work as I might have to do if I picked another variable. 
So does, any, does a variable stick out to anyone here that has the same number in front of them in any of the equations? Well, which variable? Y. y. In my Y column, I've got a negative 6. But in equation 2 and 3, I've got 1 and 1. Correct? So that's going to be a little easier on myself to eliminate Y. So which two equations do you want to use first? 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Let's use 2 and 3. Go ahead. Yep. So I'm using equation 2 as well as equation 3. So I write those two together, and now I'm using my elimination method to eliminate my y value, my y variable. So like we said, these two already have the same number in front of them, correct? We already have the same number in front of y, correct? Okay, so now I can either add or subtract, because that's my goal to eliminate. So do the, in front of the y's, do they have the same sign or opposite signs? Same signs. If they have the same signs, do I add or subtract my equations? Subtract. Everyone okay with that? So now I've got my top equation minus my bottom equation. So it's 5x minus 3x. 2x. What happens to my y's? What's y minus y? Zero. They cancel out. They eliminate. That's why it's called elimination. And now I have 2z minus negative 8z. 10z. Because... Two negatives right next to each other like that makes a positive. You can use stay, change, change. So 2z plus 8z gives me 10z. Same concept with 10 minus negative 28. What would that give me? Positive 38. There is now my equation A. Everyone good with that? Okay, what's my next step tell me to do? Eliminate the same variable using a different combination of my three equations. So I just used two and three, so I can't use that combination again. So now I've got to use one and two or one and three. So which two do you want to use? Say it again. One and two. Let's use one and two. Two x minus six y plus nine z equals negative eight. Five x plus y plus two z equals ten. What's important that I do here? Which variable am I eliminating? Y. I have to eliminate the same variable I just eliminated. That way I get two equations that have the same two variables. Everyone okay with that concept? We got to eliminate the same variable we just eliminated. So, do I have the same number in front of my y values now? I do not. How do I get them to have the same number? Which equation? The bottom one. I've got to multiply my bottom equation by 6. I multiply everything in that equation by 6. So what's 6 times 5x? 30x. 6 times y? 6y. 6 times 2z? 12z. And 6 times 10? 60. One problem that I've been noticing as we've been practicing these is sometimes y'all don't multiply everything in the equation by that number. Sometimes you'll forget to multiply your constant by that number, and you'll leave that as 10. But I've got to multiply everything in the equation by that number that I multiply the equation by. Okay? Now, do I have the same number in front of y? I do. They both have a 6 in front of y, correct? Now, do my y's have same signs or opposite signs? Opposites. If they have opposite signs, do I add or do I subtract? You add your two equations. 
So now I'm looking at this top equation and this bottom equation. So I'm not looking at this middle one anymore because I changed it to have the same number in front of y. So now I have 2x plus 30x. 32x. What happens to my y's? They eliminate. And 9z plus 12z. 21z. And finally, negative 8 plus 60. 52. Any questions how I got that equation? Now, do I have two equations that have the same two variables? Yes, I do. I broke it down and I'm making it easier on myself. I eliminated a variable. So now I've got 2x plus 10z equals 38. 32x plus 21z equals 52. Okay, what's my next step from there? Now I've got to solve this system of equations in two variables for both of these variables. Right? So which variable do you think is going to be the easiest to eliminate? X. X. Why X? 2 can go into 32. I'm only going to have to multiply one of my equations to get the same number in front of my variable. Everyone okay with that? So what do I multiply my top equation by to get 2x to 32x? 16. Am I moving too fast for anybody? I can slow down if I need to. Um, because remember, to eliminate again, I want to get the same number in front of my x. So 2 goes into 32, right? So I'm going to multiply by 16 so my x will have 32 in front of it. Does that make sense? Okay. So what's 16 times 2? 32x. 16 times 10z. 160z. And then 38 times 16. What is it? 608. Any questions on what I've done? Now, do I have the same number in front of my variable, one of my variables? Yes, I do. I have 32 in front of both of my x's. Do they have same or opposite signs? Same. So am I adding or subtracting? Subtracting. So when I subtract 32x minus 32x, those are eliminated. Now I have 21z minus 160z. What does that give me? What? Negative 139z. And now I have 52 minus 608, which that gives me? Negative 556. Everyone's still with me. We're almost there, I promise. I know these problems take a while. I warned y'all before we even got into these, they take a while. Now, I can finally solve for one of my variables. How do I get z by itself now? Divide by? Negative 139. That'll cancel out. So negative 556 divided by negative 139 gives me positive 4. I have now found one of my three variables. Am I done? Do I just quit there? No. No? What do I have to do now? Substitute 4. But I've got a lot of equations with Z in them, don't I? So which equation do I know to substitute into? One of my shorter ones, right? One of my original ones that only has two variables in them, right? That way I can solve for which variable now? X. X. That helps me easily find X. So which one do we want to use? Which equation? The first one? So when you say the first one, do you mean this one? 
I'd probably pick that one too. It's got smaller numbers in it. It doesn't matter which one you pick, but I like to usually deal with smaller numbers. So 2x plus 10 times z. What are we replacing z with? 4, Four equals 38. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. What's 10 times 4? What? 40. 40. Back to Algebra 1. we got a multi-step equation here. How do I get x by itself? Mm. Subtract 40 from both sides. Thirty-eight minus forty. Negative two. And how do I get x by itself? Divide by two. So what does x equal? Negative one. I now have two of my three variables. Do I stop there? Do I just find two of three? I got to find all three of them, don't I? But this is just my last step, right? How do I find y now? Plug what in where? There's a plug x and z into where, Bella? Which original? One of them. Does it matter which one? No. Which one do you guys want to use? Number second one? Yes. So 5x plus y plus 2 equals 10? Are you all okay if I erase some of my work here to give myself some room? So 5x, so 5 times negative 1, plus y, plus 2 times z, 2 times 4, equals 10. I'm replacing x and z in one of my original equations with 4 and negative 1. And now, I can just solve for y. It's 5 times negative 1. Negative 5, 2 times 4, 8 equals 10. Combining your like terms right here, what's negative 5 plus 8? 3. Three. And now how do I get y by itself? Subtract 3 from both sides. So what does y equal? 7. I have now found all three of my variables. Woo! That was fun, wasn't it? Negative. It was a blast. Do I want you to leave your answer like this? No, sir. How do I want you to write it? Put it in. Triple. In order triple. So what number is coming first in my order triple? Negative. X, which is? Negative one. Negative one. What comes second? Seven. Seven, my Y value. And what comes last? Four, my z value. So my answer pair, or my answer, would be the order triple, negative one, comma seven, comma four. Questions on that one? Are you feeling a little more confident with these problems the more we do? Hopefully. Understanding the process a little better? Hmm? That was a good time. That was the best 20 minutes of your life. <laughs> Questions on number one. Okay, I'm going to do one more with you on this uh, paper that I gave you. Y'all stay with me. Keep your heads up. Keep your eyes open. Uh, so go to number four. Things on the back. Number four. X minus 5Y plus 3Z equals 39. 3X plus 8Y minus Z equals negative 19. 2X minus 6Y minus 5Z equals negative 29. So we're solving this system of equations in three variables. Uh, which, which variable are y'all wanting to uh, eliminate first? Z. Z? Z? Y'all okay with Z? Or do y'all want another one? Z? Why didn't y'all pick X? 
I was just wondering. I mean, we can do Z. We can do Z. I was just wondering because X has smaller numbers, but we'll do we'll do Z. We'll do Z. Okay. So which two equations do you want to use to eliminate Z first? First, second, third. First and second. We're eliminating Z. Quit talking. Yeah. We're eliminating Z. So do they have the same number in front of them? Z. No, they don't. So what do I need to do to get the same number? Multiply the second one by? Three. Three. Three times three x. Nine x. Three times eight y. Twenty four y. Three times negative z. Negative three z. And negative nineteen times three. Negative fifty seven. Any questions there? Now do we have the same number? Yes. No, no, I'm recording right now. Oh. Oh. Okay, I've got the same number in front of Z now. Do they have same signs or opposite signs? Opposite. So do I add or subtract? Add them. We're looking at the top and the bottom equations, not the middle one anymore. X plus 9X. What? X plus 9X. 10X. Negative 5y plus 24y. What? 19y. 39 plus negative 57. Negative 18. Now I have one equation and two variables. Yes? I have a question. Yes? So, like, you know how you do the first and second one first, right? Yep. Say that again. So, you know how we're using the first and second? Yep. What happens if we use the second and third? You want to use the second and third next? We, uh, just because that knocks out x and y, and that leaves just the z. Uh, it would not eliminate x and y. Oh, Mm-hmm. Well, let's use two and three now. Let's just see what happens when we use two and three. 3x plus 8y minus z equals negative 19. 2x minus 6y minus 5z equals uh, negative 29. I saw what I did wrong. No, I was looking at the equation you already said right there. Oh, okay. So, which variable do we have to eliminate here? Z. Z, the same one I just eliminated the first time. Yeah. Right? So, Z. What times five? times five? The equation. Which equation? I got like 50 of them up there. The first one. First one. I want the same number in front of Z so I can get it eliminated. So I multiply this top equation by five. What's five times three Z? Or X, I mean. 15X. Five times eight Y? 40Y. 40. 40 Five times negative z. Jeez, bro. Negative five z. Five times negative nineteen. Negative. Say what? Right. Negative ninety five. Yeah. Questions on how I've got that new equation? Okay. Do I have the same number in front of my z's now? Yes. Yes, I do. Do they have the same sign or opposite signs? Same. 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 So do I add or subtract? Subtract. subtract. 2x minus 15x. 13. Negative 13x. Nice. Uh, right. Negative 6y minus 40y. 
negative 46y, z's are eliminated, negative 29 minus negative 95 gives me 66. Everyone okay there? So I have negative 13x minus 46y equals 66. Now I have two equations and two variables, correct? Yeah. Now I need to solve this system in two, equation, or in two variables for both of my variables. Good stuff. This is going to be hard. So, which variable do you guys want to eliminate now? Well, X or Y? X. So what do you guys want to multiply top and bottom by? You can do that, yeah. We can multiply the top by 13 and the bottom by 10. You guys want to do that or you want to try to find another number? Let's just do that one. You can try. Go for it. Find one for me. What's the least common multiple of 10 and 13? Ah, yeah, do that one. Say what? 130. That's the least common multiple? Yep. Hopefully. Uh, no. It is. You can probably do 13 and 10. I feel like that's just the easiest. 13 and 10? Let's do it. Do you know what easy is? Multiply the top by 13. <laughs> multiply the bottom by 10. Here we go. This is good stuff. These are going to be big numbers, aren't they? <sighs> 10x times 13. 12. 130x. 19 times 13 plus 247y. Negative 18 times 13 gives me negative 234. All right, now let's multiply the bottom by 10. Negative 13x times 10. Negative 130x. Negative 46 times 10. Negative 460y. And 66 times 10. 660. Woo! That's good stuff. Do we now have the same number in front of one of my variables? Indeed. We do. We have 130 in front of both of my x's. Do they have same or opposite signs? Opposite. Opposite. One's positive, one's negative. So do I add or subtract? Add. Add. X is eliminate. 247 plus negative 460y would give me negative 213y equals negative 234 plus 660 gives me 426. How do I get y by itself? Negative 213 on both sides. So y equals what? Negative 2. There's one of my variables. All right. Got to find the other two. So I can use either. Yeah, I can use that one. I can use any of my. Uh, equations that have x and y in them. 10x plus 19y. Okay. Can I erase some work? Yes. yes. Please do. Please do. <laughs> you need to have all this work shown on your paper. 10x plus... 19 times negative 2 equals negative 18. 19 times negative 2. Negative 38. How do I get x by itself now? What is it? I add 38 to both sides, right? What's negative 18 plus 38? 20. 20. It's 2. It Dividing by 10. Two. X equals 2. two. There's two of my three variables, X and Y. Almost there. Let's do the second 
I'm not guessing. Do you want to use the first, second, or third? Once you get first. Second. Raise your hand for first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Raise your hand for second. Raise your hand for third. I think first had the most. So two. Hey, hush, hush. Wait. Oh yeah. Never mind. Quit talking. Okay, negative five times negative two. Positive ten. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't mean wait, can you slow down? Yeah, I'm slowing down. I have to write it down first. So I've got Once two. You get past the first one, it goes you said that already. Wait, now. Negative, you know. I know, but it just keeps positive. Negative five times negative two. Okay. Say what? It's five times two. It's not a negative. Yeah, so minus five is the same thing as negative five. Because I could rewrite it like this. I could make it plus negative five times two. So the minus sign does make the five negative. Uh, so combining like terms, what's two plus ten? Twelve. Two plus ten. Twelve. What's my next step? Subtract 12 from both sides. 39 minus 12? 27. How do I get Z by itself? Divide by 3. What does Z equal? 9. There's my final variable. So what's my answer here? Two, two, nine. So 2, comma, negative 2, comma, 9. I want it as an order triple. Make sure they are in that order. Do not have those numbers out of order in the order triple. Do we have any questions about this one? No, sir. Some people look confused on this one. Any confusion that I need to clarify? I'm confused on the one above that because I feel like I did it wrong. Uh, number three. Let me check it out. I'll check in just a second. Okay, are there any questions over the two I just did with you? Okay, you got three on your own. I'm ending the recording now.